Russo-American relations are at their worst since the Cold War. So just what has gone on between the pair these last few months? First of all, there's the US election campaign, when Republican contender Donald Trump called Vladimir Putin a much better leader than Barack Obama. Some analysts started talking about a Trump-Putinism doctrine and a new era of relations between the two nations. But the Democratic Party condemned Russia for using its cyber services to attack its presidential candidate Hillary Clinton and pirating her campaign, breaking into computers. NSA have strict a declassified report for the U.S. Secret Service sure states the Russian president ordered an effort to discredit Clinton's campaign and boost Trump's. Congress is holding an investigation. On February the 14th, after weeks of speculation about the contents of his repeated talks with the Russian ambassador, National Security Advisor Mike Flynn resigned. But the major turning point for Trump appears to have been the Khan Shekun chemical attack in Syria. At least 72 people died, and the American president ordered the first bombardment of the Syrian army. There can be no dispute that Syria used banned chemical weapons, violated its obligations under the Chemical Weapons Convention, and ignored the urging of the UN Security Council. America, France and the UK proposed various UN resolutions against Syria, but each time Moscow opposed its veto in favour of its Syrian ally. Every time Vladimir Putin went so far as to mock the Americans, up to no good again, he claimed, cooking up false proof of weapons of mass destruction, just like in Iraq. I've said that this US strike reminds me strongly of events in Iraq in 2003, when US representatives in the UN Security Council showed alleged chemical weapons found in Iraq. A military campaign was launched in Iraq after this and it resulted in the destruction of the country and the growth of the terrorist threat and the emergence of Islamic State on the international arena. In such an atmosphere, it seems that any Trump-Putin handshake may have to wait. Indeed, in the current climate, it's hard to imagine one at all.